It's being right now. Uh, the senator's daughter, human rights activist, Carrie Kennedy. Carrie, thanks so much for being with us. So, so greatly appreciate it. And so greatly appreciate the work that you do uh, year in and year out. Um, I understand that you're going to be making an endorsement later today in Philadelphia. Tell me about it. Well, first of all, Joe, thank you so much for showing that clip and for your years and years and years of support of everything that we do. And you're s s such kind and heartfelt warmth towards my father and my family. We all so appreciate it. And you too, Mika, thank you. Um, you know, we're here in Philadelphia with my siblings and uh, representing my first cousins. Um, all of whom, with the exception of two, uh, all who are legally able are supporting Joe Biden for re-election. And we're doing that because we feel that the stakes are so high. You know, you just showed that clip of daddy in which he said, I cannot stand aside. Um, and we cannot stand aside when we have, we're up against a man who says he wants to be a dictator on day one, who says he's going to change the Constitution so he can go after his enemies, who's cozied up to dictators from Putin to Xi Jinping and um, Kim Il Jong, Kim Il Un. We need to stop this man. We need to stop Trump. And we need to elect uh, Joe Biden, who has always stood with the middle class, who has brought us over 14 million new jobs, 800,000 manufacturing jobs, and who cares about the middle class and working class in America. Kerry, um, as somebody who never knew your father, um, but learned about him, and read about him. I mean, somebody that knows Bobby Jr. I've always liked Bobby Jr. I've always liked him. But it is so jarring uh, to me as an outsider uh, to see somebody carrying your father's name, who is, again, a, he a hero of mine, a hero of, of millions. But to see him running the campaign he's running and having Donald Trump's biggest supporters support him, too, in, in, in an election that's a zero-sum game. It's about democracy. It's about diversity. It's about equality. It's about America moving towards being that more perfect union that you fight for every day. I have to ask, what does it do to you to see his campaign out there and the rest of your family? You know, I think you've, you've put your finger right on it, Joe. This is a campaign about, uh, and the stakes are so high, it is about democracy. It is about freedom. It is about the people of America, not only our country, but all around the world. And that's why it's so, so important for every single person to come out and vote. Use your franchise. If everybody votes, Biden wins. But right now, those, this is going to be a very, very close election. We can't have people voting for third parties, no matter who they are. I, in every family, we have, um, you know, Americans have diverse views. You have to love your family members. You don't have to like them. I love Bobby, and I like Bobby, but this campaign is not about Bobby. This campaign is about Trump versus Biden. And what we need to do today is focus on Biden winning. We all have to vote, get your friends to go vote, bring your communities together and vote for Joe Biden. A vote for anyone else is a vote for Trump. 
It's such an important a message uh, to hear that if you want to defeat Trump, you need to vote for Biden, and that and that's the only alternative. And to hear it um, from um, from your family, I have to say, I too huge admirer of your uh, father's. Continue to find him so inspiring about what can be accomplished in politics. And you know, this is I've been in politics a long time. This is the most involved your family has gotten in a presidential campaign um, since your father and uncle ran. And wondering, obviously, there's a concern about um, the impact that your brother could have on independence. I know you talk about that in your speech. But what is, are there other things in the Biden presidency that really resonates with your family that you, you, know, you see maybe an opening to accomplish the kinds of things that your father set out to do if Biden has a second term? Well, you know, I think Biden's leadership is so important. Um, one of the things that's so important to me is that he cares. He cares so deeply about the people who he comes into contact with, about working class people in our country. There's so much at stake here. President Trump has said he's going to cut Medicare for people who are dependent on that for their health care. He's going to take away Social Security, which people have spent their lives building up so that they have security going into their elderly years. He's going to um, take away those student loans, which our youth needs in order to build a better life and education for themselves and for their families. And we don't want to go back to that chaos of a, a Trump presidency. And we certainly don't want to, as the richest and most powerful country on Earth, be in a position where we could have a dictatorship, where this guy is saying that he'll be a dictator on day one, that he is going to change the Constitution to go after his enemies, to harm the press, the fourth estate, which keeps our democracy so strong. And um, that's what's at stake here. President Biden cares about us. He marched with the UAW. He's, uh, he cares about unions. He cares about working class people, gig workers, mothers, fathers. He cares about making sure that LGBTQ community is protected, that you can love who you love. And President Trump is proud for overturning Roe v. Wade. He can't have that. I'm a woman. I've got three daughters. We need to control over our health care and our lives. And President yes. Trump is against it. President Biden has fought his whole life for stopping violence against women. Mm. So b uh, before we let you go, I just want you to briefly, if you could, uh, just let people know that may not have been exposed to, to what you do every single day. Uh, and, and the site talks about how you teach change how you shape history, how you expose injustice through the RFK Human Rights Award. Can, can, can you tell people about that and about the upcoming award ceremony in May? You're so kind, Joe. So um, just, just so I don't get into trouble, I'm endorsing Biden as a um, right. nothing to do with my job. <laughs> Right. Um, that's independent from Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights. But yes, I'm the president of Robert Kennedy Human Rights, uh, named, of course, after my father. And we work all around the world to protect basic rights um, to uh, and to make a, the world a more just and peaceful place in the vision of Senator Robert Kennedy. All right, Carrie Kennedy. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be watching today. Thanks for coming on the show this morning. We appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. And hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.